Even after like an hour of sitting out, these are still pretty good. <laughs> oh, you can hear his chewing. I guess when I when I would say my when I started developing the passion for cooking was when I started working at sushi bar. I started off as a dishwasher in a small three compartment sink that's like lower than waist level. It, hurt just to bend over and wash all these dishes but uh, working there kind of showed me about different ways to, to treat food and how to take care of food and what should go in what dish and make it taste good just slowly but surely started seeing all the food that come out and actually you have to taste sushi you got to taste raw fish which I was totally against I, I hate I hated raw fish. <laughs> I hate I hated raw fish. I hated fish in general, which is surprisingly. I would sit down and talk to my manager. The way that he got into cooking was someone told him like, you know, everyone has to eat. This is a way that you'll always have a job. This is always a way that you'll be able to feed yourself. Feed other people so on and so forth. And at that point, that's where I was just like, oh man, like I could actually do this and actually have fun with it. Like I, at first I was doing, like I had to give everything to a T, but I was never able to be creative. And then it, at Sushi Bar, I was able to be creative. Seeing food getting sent out and seeing it come back empty, because people actually enjoyed it. And people, and you would actually see your regulars come back often and often. And then like just seeing that just kind of like made me feel like, like I was at home, I was comfortable. Well, I got two favorite tacos. One's a guisada, which is pretty much like a like gravy beef, all nice and tender. And my other one's uh, carne asada. My mom would get me and my cousin like 50 cent tacos and it would always be carne asada. Somewhere in California, in the Van Ness area, somewhere around there, I have no idea. Somewhere she found like 50 cent tacos and that's where we would eat. Uh, today I made a, like an Asian style uh, fish taco with uh, radish, radish leaves, and uh, made a little spicy mayo or spicy like coleslaw sauce. And um, I used uh, blackened drum, but I used uh, togarashi, which is like a Chinese fire spice for the seasoning of the drum. And I used that corn tortillas. And I also added banana chips. If you ever wanted to try banana chips in any one of your dishes to make it a good crunch, it's super good. <laughs> My favorite thing about food is it pretty much brings people together. Someone could make their favorite dish that they brought back from home and share it with someone else. It's kind of like sharing recipes with like your friends, your families, you're educating them about the certain place where you've had this certain item or where you tasted this and tasted that. It's kind of like you're exchanging stories. Every story probably has a dish. Every story, every dish has like 
where it came from, what it did, what it, what it ate, what it eats. Every Sunday I have a group of friends that always come together and cook. One person does desserts, a few of us do all the grocery shopping, and then one buys the, the beer and all that stuff just so we could all sit down and watch a movie and just hang out. And that, we've been doing that every Sunday for almost like three years. <laughs> My favorite food memory would probably be when I was a, a little kid. I would grow up eating uh, chicken and rice like all week. I could eat it till like the last day that it's there. That and like my mom's mole. My mom's mole was my favorite. <laughs> and also my mom's rice. I, could, I haven't found someone that can make the same rice she can. <laughs>